impressed with him clear back in 2018. He dropped a 44-55, and we thought, you know, hey, this guy has got some big things ahead of him. He's run well. He's always in a final, but we just haven't seen the brilliance out of him that uh, that we've come to uh, kind of expect. Blair getting a good at lane draw in lane five. That's actually the preferred lane on this track. Randolph Ross, he drew lane three, so he's going to do a lot of work in that first 200 meters on that tighter turn. Coach Lonnie Green said he is ready to go and was very disappointed at his results at the conference meet. Champion Allison of Alabama, the senior, splits them in lane four. He was sixth at the conference a couple weeks ago. It's my favorite name and a big contributor in that uh, four by 400 meter relay as well. There is champion Allison. And on the outside, Elijah Godwin of Georgia, with their 18 points in that tenth on Georgia, could be in the hunt as well. You don't need the depth at the Nationals like you need it at the conference. And inside is Ross, then Allison, St. Hilaire, and Godwin on the outside. Hilaire already not with the pace. Champion Allison really pushing it there in lane four. That's a good spot for Elijah Godwin out there. He really does push the first part of the race, and he's got everybody on their toes as they break for the line. And Ross gets the inside, having started in lane three, so he's done a lot of work with trying to fight that centripetal force. Godwin, he's a rough technician, but he just keeps moving forward. The knees just don't come up like you think they should, but he gets it done. Randolph Ross, wire to wire in lane three for North Carolina A&T. And he gets a 45-52 unofficially, now 53 for his effort. So one hundredth of a second faster than heat number one.